Okay, so for this activity, what we're going to learn to do is we're going to learn how to collect temperature data from just using the microbit only and to be able to use that data to cause something to happen onto our screen. So how the microbit records temperature data is that they're actually recording the temperature on the surface of the microbit. And given that the microbit does not get very hot, it's a pretty good proxy for air temperature. In our tests, we found it to be maybe one to two degrees Celsius off from what the actual air temperature is. So it's a pretty good proxy or a pretty good approximation if you don't have access to an air temperature uh, sensor. So let's get started with this. And when you start up make code, you're gonna have your basic interface again. You've got your simulator, you've got your blocks, and you've got your programming interface. So let's think about the problem we're trying to solve. The problem is I want to collect my air temperature data and do something with that data. Okay, so I'm gonna need two variables. So my first variable I'm gonna make, I'm gonna call it air temp. And so this is gonna be the temperature reading on my micro bit. The second variable I'm going to make is called high temp. And what this is going to be, this is going to be my threshold variable. So this is going to be a variable I'm going to define that if the temperature is over a certain number or a certain temperature, that's a problem and I want to know about it. Okay, so let's click OK there. Now, in my program block, in my on start, one of the things that I'm going to do is I am going to define my hair high temperature block, my high temp to be, let's say, 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, and again, you can kind of think about 25 degrees Celsius, roughly roomish temperature, a little bit, a little warm. Um, I guess it depends on your point of view. 37 degrees is about 98, that's body temperature in um, Celsius and again zero is freezing but now I've got a global variable to find high temp to be 25 okay now let's go into my forever loop here so in my forever loop that's where I'm going to begin to collect my data because this is the loop that's going to run over and over again so let's go into my variables I am going to set my air temperature reading okay so this is the variable that I want to add my data to. Okay, I'm going to set it to my temperature on my micro bit. That's under the input block. And when you look at the input block, we've got all sorts of different things that we can add in. And right down at the bottom is my temperature. So now I've got my variable air temp. It's going to be assigned the reading of temperature from the micro bit. Okay. Now that I've got that, I can show that temperature on my micro bit. So under my basic block, I can go grab show number. I can put that right underneath my air temperature. And I can say, show me this variable air temp. Okay. Now, if you're going to get a lot of decimal points, sometimes a good strategy is to go into the math block. And you can scroll down and choose round. And you can drag that round out and you can put the air temperature where that zero is and then put the round air temperature in that show number block and that's going to round your air temperature say from 21.5 to 22 or 22.5 to 23 and again given the uh, sensitivity of the sensor it's a pretty reasonable thing to do because again the text is going to scroll across your micro bit and it's not the fastest thing, so you don't want to have, you know, like eight decimal points after your actual temperature reading. Okay, so now let's do something with this number. So now I've got it showing up on my screen, so I know what it is. Let's create an if-then statement. So we're going to run a condition. So I'm going to click on my logic block. I'm going to choose this if-then-else block. Okay, notice there's this hexagonal true. I want to compare two things. So what I'm going to compare is I'm going to compare my high temperature, which is my global variable that I'll set to be 25. If my temperature gets over that, worry. And I'm going to compare it to the reading that I'm getting on my micro bit, which is my air temperature. So I'm going to go back to my logic. 
I'm going to go scroll down to a comparison block. I'm going to drag that comparison block to where it says true. I'm going to go back to my variables and I'm going to say if my air temperature is greater than high temperature, then I want on my micro bit, I'm going to show me an icon and I'm going to show me a frowny face. Okay? And it's going to be unhappy. Okay? Now, if that condition is false, that means things are good. Right? So I'm going to go back to my basic block and I'm going to show an icon. And in this case, I'm going to show a happy face. Okay? So how this program is going to work is it's going to open up the program. It's going to set this high temperature variable to 25. Then in my forever loop, it's going to read the temperature off the micro bit. It's going to assign it to the variable air temp. Okay. It's going to show, I'm going to show that air temperature reading on my micro bit. And then I'm going to do a conditional statement that if my air temperature is greater than high temp, show me a frowny face. If not, show me a happy face. Now, what I need to do is I need to download this to my micro bit. So, first thing I need to do is I need to plug in my micro bit. Okay. All right, my little yellow light comes on, which is a good sign. Okay. Oh, that micro bit is in maintenance mode, so let's grab a new one. Okay. So this is a new micro bit. So my yellow light is on. So now let's download my program. And I'm in the app, so it's gonna automatically download it to the micro bit. Or it will do the same thing in the offline. So right now my temperature is 29 degrees Celsius. And I'm getting a frowny face. All right. So now if I could get my temperature down, I would get a happy face. Or I could also change my variable high temp to 30. This is why it's nice to set these global variables because now I can just change it here in my start and it's gonna permeate throughout the entire program. So if you have a program that has multiple parts that has a global variable, it will change it throughout the entire program. So you don't have to go through and change individual code lines within the program or change individual blocks. So let's download this program again to my micro bit. And now if my temperature stayed 29, oh, it says it's now 31. I'm, now I'm getting a frowny face again. All right, so let's set my high temperature to 40. All right, so now that means it's very hot in here. Yeah, I'm getting a frown, happy face. All right, so now my temperature is 31. My threshold temperature is 40. All right, now let's see if I put my fingers on the circuits. I should be able to get my temperature to go up. All right, and eventually I'll hit up to 40, maybe. We'll see. But now I've got a frowny, a happy face. So that is really how you create an interactive monitoring of your temperature. And now you can just plug this in you can unplug it from your computer, keep it plugged in, and you've got a temperature clock, basically, that's going to show you what the temperature is right onto your microbit screen.